Welcome to Fairy the Greyhound. We are up in Scotland camping on the Isle of Skye and we are staying at Glenbrittle campsite which is on a dead end road with a beach and the mountains and it's absolutely beautiful. A little bit chilly so Fairy's wearing her puffer jacket which she got from Aldi for about £10 and I added the fur collar on from one of my old coats and she's having a little run around on the beach. In this video we're exploring the area close by to the campsite where we're staying, Glen Brittle, and we're going to go for a walk in Glen Brittle Forest and we're going to do a little bit of wild swimming in one of the pools below the waterfalls at the back there by the Cullin Mountains. So Fairy here is on the beach first thing in the morning just as we'd got up for her wee, her wee break and her early morning walk and it was chilly but we had a walk along the beach to the far end which was nice and sandy for Fairy to have a run around. This is a great campsite if you're going to the Isle of Skye, really quiet, absolutely spectacular scenery and location. The only downside is that there's a single track road going down to it um, and lots of passing places where you have to wait to get along the road. After Fairy had had her morning walk and her breakfast, we drove a couple of miles up the road to Glenbrittle Forest for a nice walk. This was a fenced area. Um, before the road, there was a big post and rail fence with um, sheep wire, very secure. So Fairy couldn't get out anywhere and we decided we'd let her off for a little walk along the gravel track. She just followed along behind us. Here she's wearing her GoPro camera mounted on her harness so you can see from her point of view. She went back on the lead to actually go into the forest part in case she saw any animals. We had a nice sniff around. You can see her ears are pricked up. She's really um, excited about going into the forest. She loves exploring new places. She's a very adventurous greyhound. The terrain was very uneven with lots of ditches and little bumps up and down logs and things that fairy had to jump over but she finds all this very exciting very stimulating very different from where we walk at home she really enjoys her walks in the woods she hopes to see squirrels or rabbits but we didn't actually see any just here i'm sure she could probably smell them though she had her nose to the floor a lot of the time picking up lots of new scents Unfortunately, the forests in this area didn't have nice little paths through the woods that you could walk along. It had either big gravel um, farm tracks um, with the forest either side or the forest looked like this, very, very dense, overgrown. So we couldn't really walk very far in it, but we did let Fairy have a good old explore. My partner had hidden from her and was whistling her. You can see her picking up her ears, going to find him. Ow. Come on. Huh. This 
And after Fairy had explored the woods for a little while, we got back in the van and drove back down the road towards the campsite where I had seen a nice little swimming pool below a waterfall which I fancied having a dip in. You can see the pool had lovely clear water and the Cullin Mountains um, in the background. It was hidden down a dip, so nobody could really see me swimming down there. And it was a cold day, so it was a bit chilly, but very, very invigorating and refreshing. And I love swimming in places like this. So I climbed down. There was a little path going down to it. It's obviously a popular wild swimming place. And jumped in. It was very cold when I first got in the water, but you soon get used to it. And once I'd swum around for a couple of minutes, I was used to the cold and it was absolutely lovely. My partner had fairy and they were watching from up above. Fairy's not keen on swimming and it would be far too cold for her at the moment anyway. It was only once when I've taken her in the river for a little swim and that was on a really really hot day in Dartmoor and she did seem to like that to have a nice cool down but there's no way I'd be taking her in the water in Scotland. Greyhounds get very cold very easily. They have a very low percentage of body fat and very little hair to keep them warm. So Fairy stood and watched all wrapped up cosy in her fleece jumper. Here's Fairy walking further up and there were some more waterfalls further up the path. And then we returned to the campsite and we put up the roof on the camper van and unzipped the panoramic um, canvas so that we could lay up there and appreciate the beautiful scenery and the views of the beach and the mountains. Fairy had found her lovely little spot by the fence in the long grass. She was having a lay down in the sun and we could watch her from where we were laying. Later on we decided to go for a walk along the beach in the other direction and follow the sort of estuary part around. So we walked up the river bank and again this was a fenced area so Fairy could come off the lead for a little bit and explore.
Fairy had her dinner in the van tonight, wrapped up nice and warm because it was getting chilly. She does love to be spoiled and eat her dinner in the van on the bed. And after that, as usual, she settled down to sleep. And as the temperature dropped further, as the evening went on, she got wrapped up in a blanket to keep her nice and warm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Part 6, our next video will be Glencoe, which is in the highlands, in the mountains. So we will drive back off the Isle of Skye and down to Glencoe and we'll be looking around exploring that area. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. We'll see you again soon.